Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo IdeaPad 330-14 IGM. The model name is an 810D0. And in this video, I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step how you can open it up and how you can remove the storage in here and install a higher capacity storage or including install a solid state drive. If yours is running a little slow with this processor, you might want to add a solid state storage. Uh, which are called SSD. Those are much much faster than mechanical drive. Uh, just before doing that, just remember you need to back up your files and uh, so external storage. So otherwise, you're not going to have any Windows inside the new storage. So I made a short video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive. I made another video how to install your Windows inside of your Lenovo 330 laptop. Follow those links so you can install your Windows properly. So you don't have to get, get those bloatware affiliated programs installed. All right, in this video, we're just going to open it up and do the upgrade. First thing first, back up your files, power up the laptop, flip it upside down, and I'll go over the tool I'll be using. I think the screwdriver set, tool number, Philips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, you get the basic set. For the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Right, down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Start from one corner and remove all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. All right, now that we remove all the screws, we're gonna pull out this DVD drive out, the caddy for the DVD drive. And we are gonna open up a little bit and we're gonna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover just like that, about two or three millimeters inward. And then you just wanna twist it and you wanna hear those big click sounds. That's what you wanna hear, don't panic. Those are normal, we're just loosening up the clips. You wanna go around under the DVD drive and you wanna break those clips too. Pretty much you loosen them up. And once you did the DVD drive and the front end, grab it up, wiggle it around, and push it towards, towards the USB port, and it will release them. So don't do this side, otherwise you're going to break the USB port. So there's your bottom cover. And there's inside of the laptop, and we can see this model is a Celeron, so it doesn't come with a fan. It only has a heat pipe. That's pretty... Not cool. I guess you save battery for the fan, but heat dissipate them after one hour of use. It will be this will be really useless. So you want to get an over throttling on this model. But down here we can see one terabyte Seagate. You might have a different one. To remove it, you want to pull this side upward and slide backward the DVD the hard drive. Now, in here, this is one terabyte. You can put a two terabyte low profile hard drive. Don't get a two terabyte uh, thicker drives or there's a four terabyte mechanical drive, but it will get really thick and it will not go through the caddy and it will not sit flush in here. So you can go up to two terabyte mechanical drive, low profile, or you can install a four terabyte SSD storage. The SSDs are the same size, low profile. You can go with a four terabyte SSD in here. I uh, prefer uh, you guys using a Samsung brand, Samsung Evo, those are really good brand, durable, but if you want to go on a budget tight, you go with a Kingston. Just remember, you can't just put the SSD in here. You could, but it's going to move around. You need this caddy. Caddy is a bracket that holds the hard drive in place, the tiny hooks that go in the, the screw holes, just pull them off. And just remember the way that you just remove it, because the SSD has to go in in the same orientation inside this connector. So you just want to plug it in like that. And make sure the screw will go through those metal thingies. And then grab it. Make sure the connector in here, the SATA and the power, SATA and the power, they're facing the same connector in here. Bring it down in 45 degree inside the connector and push it down in, in the back so it hooks in. And that's it. There's no M.2 storage in here to upgrade. This is the RAM. There's no M.2 storage at all in here. 
So we got one RAM storage in here and no other thing storage in here. All right, once you have the hard drive in there, all you want to do is just grab the bottom cover, scoop down the USB port in the back corner in here, down and push it down. Make sure you do those tiny click sounds in the front, big click sounds on the back, under the DVD drive, grab the caddy, put it right on top and then it screw down the rest of the screw on the bottom cover and then simply what you want to do if you power on you're not going to have any operating system so grab your windows 10 or 11 usb boot drive plug it in and then power it on and follow the steps step uh, how to install your windows it's pretty for, it's straightforward it takes 5 to 10 minutes sometimes 15 depending on your processor and do a windows update and you set to go Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws, and that should cover up this video.